most of the smoky sky is still here for the uh, most part. Oh, lots to digest from uh, yesterday too. I thought I'd kind of uh, give uh, my general overall thoughts uh, so far. I did read some uh, interesting news though. One of them was about a photographer who claimed he went to all these countries of like um, war and stuff like that to get these crazy pictures. And I guess for all this time he's been fooling everybody, the media, um, stock photography people. So he's basically made like I guess a fortune doing this with this fake identity essentially. And the only way they found out it was fake is apparently he contacted a news station I, I guess to, to see like hey are you interested in my work. And then they got suspicious saying, how come no one's ever met this guy? And then upon research, they found out all his uh, photos were stolen from other photographers. All he did was invert them. Man, kind of crazy, huh? How someone can do that, create like an online persona and fool all these huge media sources and all that. Crazy. And there was this one funny one about a drone carrying a guy in a hammock asking if it's possible and you can see it was basically, yeah, like a huge drone basically carrying a guy in a hammock. Although from my observation, I think that's a dummy on the actual hammock. Still makes me wonder <laughs> why in many ways. I guess it's good anyways like for the technology and for people to kind of test the limits of what's possible and what's not. I mean, in my opinion, people should be able to do that more in open places though. I don't know about the idea of flying it like where he was. Then again, maybe the rules are different and stuff like where he is in their own country. Right, I get some uh, quick stuff done. Hey. Must be a tourist day today or something. Alright, the sun looks really kind of cool actually with this. Look at the color of that bird. Hmm, what's that that makes it so different like that? So for the uh, Transport Canada session, yeah, for the most part, it's kind of what I expected. Like initially, like you go in there and they're basically just telling you like, why they came up with the things they are. Now whether or not they're actually listening and things will change, that's another question. My personal uh, impression anyways in going there, it was more about this is why we're doing it, um, this is uh, how, so basically there's no justification for it, that's about it basically. I would hope it would be more about this is why we're doing it, what do you think about it, and what do you think is better instead. Like maybe that was just wishful thinking, but that's how I hope it would have turned out, which wasn't the case, like in my opinion anyways. I mean, you guys would have saw the uh, video by now too. That's an interesting vehicle, whatever that is. What did you hurt? Let me in my hand. Okay, walk for a bit. You okay? Yeah, we're yeah, fine. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone took a tumble. My overall feeling was it just comes down to mindset because if you can't open up your mind to kind of see things in a different perspective, then there's gonna be no, absolutely no difference. I think one of the examples for that was the justification saying, um, is it gonna scare people away? Like, yeah, like whatever, like that type of attitude and saying like not everyone's gonna have a drone anyways, like in that guy's mind. Whereas like to me, I say like, well, some people are already inventing things like for a cell phone to fly up in the air. Like I could see potentially in the future, everyone having something that flies. I mean, if a person can't like shut everything off that they know personally and see it in that perspective, it's really hard to um, basically be impartial about it. To me, one of the interesting things was when they talked about public perception, uh, they basically said things like the professionals versus the yahoos. So they said if people on the outside constantly see people, I guess, certified, they're the quote professionals, then the general public would be more at ease with drones. Whereas if they see someone random, like just buys it from the store and flies it like, you know, crazy or without certification, then that's like, you know, dangerous and that's how people will perceive it as dangerous flyers. I mean, the first thing just from my experience, like ironically, I think by saying that in many ways, like with Transfer Canada always saying, oh, a drone can crash into this, it can crash into that. I mean, that's what creates the fear. I mean, for the most part, when I show people like the drones on my trips, just on my everyday adventures, 
it basically shows them like there's nothing to fear about. It's just a piece of tech. It's not necessarily gonna go crazy crash into this. Like the risk is no more riskier than anything else like you can think of in life for the most part. And for me, I feel like I'm constantly trying to undo their damage by constantly saying that. Like the professionals are safe, everyone else, absolutely not. At the same time, it kind of made me think like, how do you define really like a quote professional flyer if we're talking about things like safety? I mean, like for me, like I fly as a recreational flyer, like I fly it for fun. Do you guys consider me a quote professional in the way I fly it, in the way I handle it? Like in my opinion, I would say I do. I take the precautions. I always uh, th figure out like, hey, is this a good area to shoot? Is it appropriate? Or even when I let people fly the drone, I have all the precautions in place to educate them. Is that not a professional behavior? You can say again, for example, uh, hey, they're not targeting me. They're just targeting like, you know, those crazy people that fly into the airports. But unfortunately, with the way it's written and even with the way they talk in the actual presentation, they are essentially like, unfortunately, whether they want to admit it or not, they are targeting people like me just with the way it's written and their mentality. Like I don't need like a piece of paper, for example, to teach me how to be responsible in that sense. It shouldn't educate me, but it shouldn't be like the stereotype to say this guy will always be safe and that guy no. You guys had a lot of different analysis too of uh, what happened yesterday. I think that's actually great. I was even thinking too because some of you guys saying like, okay, that's it. It proves that they're not um, listening and so forth. So, uh, you know, you don't think there's any uh, point to it. I don't know. I think uh, this actually gives you like a basis in some ways to see what their kind of overall attitude is, I guess, towards people who are giving them the opinions. And I guess for everyone else, because this event is supposed to happen like elsewhere right now, maybe it gives you guys the ability to analyze it and rephrase your questions in a way where they have to answer it. So maybe like, you know, like for me, like I said, I'm not very formal in that sense. I don't wear like a suit. I'm not a lawyer to present it in that way. So maybe that'll give you guys the opportunity, the people with those types of skills uh, to make the voices heard in a better way can't do this alone right so hopefully I did uh, my part like I was able to attend it so hopefully I helped all those people who weren't able to attend it and now you guys with the expertise and so forth you can analyze it and try to you know do a different uh, approach I guess if they're constantly not answering the questions because like even for me like I don't understand necessarily like when they talked about things like um hey there's no Canadian restrictions for this so that's why there has to be 90 meters like I don't know that stuff technically whereas some of you do so it's kind of great in my opinion to get people all together to talk about stuff like that look at that helicopter motorized boats people in the water how can we live with all these devices together it's actually one thing I wanted to ask but there was no time I wanted to ask um, in them creating those kind of regulations how much did they actually focus in the other things that we use in life in relations to it for example if you say like a little tiny drone is dangerous because of people do you factor in the other things that we use in our lives as well kind of like uh, these people here they're you know hitting their badminton birds and stuff like that do you consider that dangerous they could hit that it could hit my eye and so forth right to me it's like I don't know <laughs> whatever <laughs> it's basically like in a controlled situation like it's very it will be a very freak accident. It should be treated like in an incident basis. All right, why not? Let's try to find some uh, drone footage to edit.
All right, see you guys later.